Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you're new. I'm Sweet Ash Gamer, and today we're going to be playing The Sims 4, and we are starting a new challenge. So, this is going to be the collection challenge. It may end up being like a collection legacy challenge, because I don't think that she's going to be capable of collecting everything in the game. So, her 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 children her genes <laughs> are going to be completing this challenge uh so this is raven blair and she is our main girl here uh she has lots of different outfits i made sure to give her plenty of different options uh she's got also her boom formal wear look at that she also has of course all the other outfits that she needs um and we are going to go ahead and move into a house that I've already built. I've made it pretty big and nice and spacious and hopefully there's enough room to uh, store a lot of the collectibles that we're going to be collecting because we're definitely going to be doing that. So let's go ahead and jump in and show you the house. All right, here we are loaded into the lot. This is the house that we are moving into. Huge, right? Lovely, beautiful. So you walk in, oh my gosh, I love this house so much. Uh, you walk in and you've got like your normal foyer area. Off to the left, we've got a little office here. We've got this hallway leading to a huge kitchen. Got a little bathroom here and a nice big dining room. We've got a huge living area, little cozy corner over here. Uh, you can also go upstairs. Not done much up here because I was trying to figure out like how we're going to store our collectibles and stuff so that's probably what's going to go mostly in this area but this is her room over here i need to move that tree uh this is her bedroom where she's gonna sleep she's got her own little desk with her computer here as well nice little seating area too uh like i said all of this is probably where we will put our collectibles there's also a third floor that's currently not accessible, but just in case we need more room for the collectibles, I made sure to add that in. So, I'm very excited to get started. Let's go ahead and check to see what collectibles we should get started with. Wow, there's a lot to go with here. I think it's a little bit overwhelming, but Raven doesn't have to do it all. It's okay. <laughs> she, she can raise her children to help her uh so maybe we'll start with like collecting frogs and doing some gardening try to collect some crystals and stuff get some of the easier ones more common ones out of the way i am very very glad that we have this uh system here already in the game to be able to keep track of these collections because if not that would be very terrible but Luckily, we do have this, so that is very good. Uh, let's go ahead and, I guess, get started with this. Let's see. Money's not really an issue. We're not going to really be using money, buying anything. We're going to be collect, like foraging, fishing, doing all the other ways that we can get stuff. So let's go ahead and let's kind of... We're also in Mount Comoretti, unless you... <laughs> in case you couldn't uh, tell. Uh, maybe you couldn't. I don't know. Um... But I am going to, I don't know actually where the walkable area is throughout here. Can I get down here? Okay. Wow, this is beautiful. I love this area so much. All right. Hello. 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 <laughs> Walking around like that. Uh, Raven is bisexual as well. So man or woman or non-binary, it doesn't really matter to her. She is good with anybody um should we aren't there like other collectibles of like these little guys or something there's like some sort of stuff that you can buy from here oh yeah the capsules that's collectibles too right all right well i don't know let's go more into the nature areas to see if we can't find anything wow this is so pretty look how pretty that is i love that I love that the newer worlds get more and more detailed. Oh, the birds. Oh, so pretty. All right. Well, I can't find anything. <laughs> Ooh, I found a spot. I'm going to tell her to dig it. This is our first collectible. Let's see what we get. Please let it be good. I have no idea what all you can get from these dig spots. So hopefully it's something good and actually a collectible. A limestone. 
I'm sure that's a collectible. Extract the fossil. Ooh, that counted. We started our fossils. Look at that. Nice. One fossil down. <laughs> I forgot about the fossils. That's another thing we'll be able to be collecting around here, hopefully. Um, it doesn't seem as though, unless I'm looking like in all the wrong areas or I've not waited long enough, there's not a lot of spawns around here, so looks like we're going to be probably traveling around a lot. He just randomly walked up and started talking to me. That's nice. Oh my gosh, you can swim in this water? <gasps> wow! I didn't know that. Good to know. Good to know. Oh, the waterfall. Oh, we can swim in the waterfall? No. Oh my gosh. That's so pretty. I'm getting so distracted by the environment. Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Back to collecting. Back to collecting. Let's go ahead and let's put our fossil. Just put that little guy right there, a little mustache fossil as our first fossil, as our first collectible. We are on the road to a whole collection. <laughs> Looks like we've got more for gardening here. Found some parsley. That's nice. Get started on that as well. Uh, it does seem as though there are some plants popping up around. They're kind of hard to find because there's like so much in the area. Like that's a potato plant, but it's out of season. So we'll be able to get that at some point, but this area is just so distracting. It's so pretty. Yes, sure, you love gardening. That's great. Oh my gosh, it's just so, so distracting. Is there supposed to be water running through here? It's all dried up. Wow, interesting. Huh, never noticed that before. Oh, look at this bridge. Has this bridge always been green? <laughs> I guess I don't play enough here. All right, well, acquire the video game skill. Did you get the parsley, though? Ah. Yep. Check on the parsley. Got it. I am kind of obsessed with this kitchen. I'm not realizing I don't think that I painted any of the ceilings, but we'll take care of that. Isn't this kitchen just so big and beautiful? It's incredible. All right, so we've actually made a couple friends, um, Jenna and Brittany. We also flirted a little bit with Brittany to see what she'd say about that, and she actually liked it. So uh, we might date Brittany. Uh, I was considering Jenna, but then I found out she was married, considering Naoki, but he's also married. Um, and yeah, Bjorn is also married, so pretty much every other person that I've talked to is already married, uh, which is unfortunate, but Brittany actually didn't ask her. Hopefully she's not married. <laughs> uh, but yeah, she's an option for sure. I think she's really pretty, and she's an adult. Um, hopefully she's not too close to Elder, because that would be sad if she, like, die well, died like before us which she probably will anyways since she's older whatever let's not think about that right now right <laughs> we've not even started dating her yet and we're already like oh my gosh what are, what are we gonna do when she dies <laughs> okay Whew. back to reality all right i have basil oh no parsley um i don't really know what to do with like the gardening stuff should we keep the gardening stuff I've, I guess maybe we should, should. We should keep everything, right? I mean, that's how we'll know we collected it all, so... I mean, we know we collected it through here, obviously, but... 2 of 36. Hmm. Okay, that's a little confusing. I guess it just means two categories out of all of them have been... Partially done. Okay. Well, cool. I like that we have a way to, to monitor that easily because, honestly, that would have been very, very hard to do. 
Oh look, a dishwasher. I rarely put dishwashers in my games. Dishwasher, I love it. All right, I think that we are going to travel out because I don't really see uh, much else around here that we can collect, to be honest with you. So I feel like it's going to be smart to go out to maybe some parks and stuff to at least get the spawns or whatever to, or like the flowers or vegetables, fruits, whatever's going out there, get it started growing. That way next time we come back, it'll hopefully be grown. What is this? Tomato. I found a tomato. Get off the computer. She's been gaming. I've not told her to do it once, but she's got that computer and she's like, I'm going to take advantage of that. All right, come over here and grab this tomato. And hopefully having a random tomato on her shelf isn't going to like stink up her house or something. Because <laughs> that would be unfortunate. Finding our very first froggy. Also find a few rocks around here that we'll be able to get. Uh, we should... We should probably hold on to the frogs though. Well, we're gonna hold on to the frogs anyways. But I mean like, we need to breed them up. Because uh, that's probably going to be the easiest way to go about that. I don't really know much about breeding up frogs whoa, and how to do that, but is a robot salvage part a collection? I don't think so. Frogs? Metals? Nope, that's all. Okay, cool. Well, we got a new metal and a new frog. We'll go ahead and get rid of that replacement part. Uh, don't chat with Jeb. I would prefer you to continue doing what I've asked of you, please. Looks like all the flowers and vegetables and stuff around here have spawned, but they have yet to bloom, except for the fact that there's a random chrysanthemum just floating there. But, uh, and unfortunately I can't grab it for some reason. It's not actually there. It's a pretend chrysanthemum. We could fish. That could get uh, quite a bit of things started for us. We got a lot of fish to collect. So I'm probably going to stay in this area for a little bit. Collect up as much as I can. Let's see what else she found. A treasure map. Well, I guess that'll be helpful eventually. But for now, not very helpful. Alright, so we have found a crystal, and we have found two more fossils, as well as another metal, and a little, whatever that's called, uh, a sim trophy. There we go. We also got a new metal, like I said, and a new crystal, and a couple new fossils, so that is cool. Um, we are fishing right now with Summer Holiday. She's just keeping us company. She was in a bad mood, and we decided to cheer her up, so... We might be making another friend, uh, but we are just fishing together and hopefully we're able to at least get a few fish. I know she's getting tired, so we should probably go home soon. It's really late. She probably uh, wants to go to bed, but we're going to fish for a little bit. Oh, can I have that? Oh, this isn't very fair. Maybe I shouldn't have had her fish with me. She's going to get all the stuff. All right, we got her back home nearly by noon, and she is in bed. Um, we have quite a few things that we can add to our collection. So we have a couple fishies, got a goldfish, and we got a perch. We also got a few of these little collectible guys here, so we can add these to the shelf. We have a couple crystals to add as well. And we also have some metals as well. So we have that guy. Oh gosh, these take up a whole spot. That's a lot. Okay, we'll put them all over here. And we have two new fossils. We got a handprint and a fossilized plant imprint. A fossilized sim hand. <laughs> That's cool. I'm going to keep the frog in our inventory to breed it up with other frogs to get other types. Uh, we did collect a lemon, but when she got home, she decided to make a fruit salad and she used that lemon. So we lost the lemon that we collected, but I'm not entirely sure how long these will like be good and what, uh, 
what we should actually do there if we should just like check that off as the collection not not keep fruits and vegetables and stuff on the shelves i don't know let me know if you have any comment on that but uh for now it's there uh Luckily, though, we are able to, like I said, keep track of all of that in here. So, like I said, she did get that lemon, but we can't add it. We got two new Sim trophies, another new metal, another new crystal, and those two fishies. So, we have collected quite a bit of stuff already. I'm very, very excited. I think that tomorrow we will collect a little bit more. And hopefully get a really good start on this challenge and we'll have to like really consider we get we gotta make sure that we focus on her love life too because she's not gonna be able to do this whole collection herself she's got to have an offspring to continue the challenge unless she manages to live forever somehow <laughs> which uh, I don't think that's gonna happen so we're gonna have to find a partner eventually and have babies and Whenever she gets old and unable to continue the challenge, they will pick it up for her, and uh, that'll be fun. So, I'm gonna go ahead and let her sleep for a while, though. So, oh, Jenna interrupted. Um, okay, that's fine. Uh, I was just about to say, we were in here uh, making up some supper for our girl Brittany. We invited her over, but then... <laughs> She immediately walked into our house and was like, you know what, I need a little spa treatment here. So <laughs> she is cracking me up. That is the first thing she did. You know what, high maintenance, but you gotta love her. I think that uh, as long as she's not like, you know, got something weird about her, she's a comedian, oh, points, points. Bisexual, points, points. Uh. We're social bunny friends, romantic interest. We don't have any sentiments. Um, she likes black. <laughs> ah, we live in a black house. Oh my gosh, dislikes fitness, girl, same. <laughs> Non-committal. Okay, so that's a, little, that's a little concerning, but like, we don't have to get married. We just have to have some kids, <laughs> right? Like, I guess that's a little bit of commitment, but like, <laughs> Come on, girl. You can do it. It'll be fine. Oh. She got a... Oh, she's tense. She's not in a good mood at all. Um, should I, like... Let's hug her. It's okay. Aww. Uh... Okay. Oh, I forgot Jenna came over. Uh, Jenna has a husband. Why? What? Wait a minute. You didn't bring, like, your whole family, right? It's just you? Is there something going on? Are you gonna leave your husband? She might. She's really sad. She's bisexual, too. Interesting. Are you, like, uh, really? Like, what's wrong? <laughs> if you want to leave your husband, you can stay here as long as you want. Oh, we got decisions. Am I a terrible person? I mean, she's sad, and she came to me, so... Whatever happens, happens, I guess. You want, you want some vegetable dumplings? I made enough for everybody. Why was she trying to go to the bed? <laughs> That's a little, uh... Like, what? Is she gonna sleep in my bed? I guess she could sleep, uh... On the... Ouch. Right? I feel like there was some action queued up there. Because she there was a bed and Brittany was up in my bedroom. I think they uh, might have autonomously been trying to do something. Maybe she was like, Jenna, you need to go away. <laughs> Brittany's getting like obsessive now or a little controlling. But like, girl, you're non-committal, so you're non-committal, you know? Well, it's extremely late at night, and we are just watching some TV. Um, our friend kind of disappeared. Uh, oh, she's upstairs doing push-ups. <laughs> uh, I think that we have helped her out of this sadness because she seems pretty good now. Um, I don't know 
I don't know if she's gonna leave her husband. I guess we can we can see. I don't know. Maybe we should do a, a, a poll. Would you rather uh, her break up Jenna and uh, her husband's marriage? I don't know his name. Or uh, try to start dating Brittany, but Brittany is non-committal. Uh, which is a problem if we wanted to get married or be in like a relationship with her. Um, so let me know. We'll probably do a poll on that. But for now, we can get to know her and then we could just make a choice later, you know. She's staying the night for a couple nights. We'll just have a fun time. Um, but when she goes to sleep, if I'm still... If I'm still awake, then I'll go cl do collectibles and stuff for a little bit. Aww. They're so cute. I found Jenna sleeping in our bed. And while that's that's cute and everything, um, there's something uh, behind her. What the heck? <laughs> she doing that? How are you holding it backwards like that? That is crazy. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, a little concerned about her, but <laughs> we found another fossil in our backyard somewhere, so that's great. But I think we're gonna have to travel again to find some more stuff because I'm not finding anything else around here. Um, so we're gonna travel again. Hey, right, here we are in the Willow Creek Park. We're doing a little bit of fishing, but as you can see, I have found a few things around the area. There's another one here. Uh, so she will hopefully be able to find a few new collectibles around. It looks like there's quite a few plants that are starting to grow as well. And there are quite a few frogs around too, so we got lucky with that. Alright, here's everything we've gotten from the park. We've got three new frogs, a new fossil, and a new sim trophy. So, we will be able to breed up some of these frogs. Ooh, look at that, got a different frog already. And, can we... no? Okay. Well, we gotta wait a little bit, but we've already got a new frog from that, so we have a bunch of new stuff. I am going to probably... can I climb up here? Can I actually go up that? Can you walk up that hill? I didn't know you could get up there. I've never seen this up here. Cool, okay. Well, there's two more dig spots here that I didn't see before. So, oh, look at that. Another fossil. A fossilized egg. That's new. Oh, and another one of these. Another one of those. Cool, so two new fossils, two new trophies, four new frogs. Let's go ahead and take this stuff home. All right, so let's go ahead and add some of these trophies to the shelves. There we go. Let's add our extra fossils down here. There we go. Those are new ones. Uh, I'm gonna hold on to our frogs until we have at least doubles of them. That way I still have the ability to breed them, but this is all of our stuff for now. I'm so excited. Let's go ahead and check out our collection. So, we've got five frogs so far. We've done three of the gardening. We've got five of the, of the 20 trophies. We've done three metals, two crystals, six fossils, and two fish. I'm pretty sure that that's all that we've done. Yes. I feel like we've got quite a bit done. I'm really excited. I feel like the next episode we can get a little more into the gardening because that stuff will be a little bit easier to get. Uh, we can still find like the collectibles and stuff, but uh, give me ideas for other collections, other ways to find things, maybe things I'm not even thinking of that I could be doing to speed up this process if you have any tips let me know but i hope you guys did enjoy this first episode of the completion challenge in the sims 4 and i will see you guys next time bye